Hi everybody, this is Jelisa. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're listening in the podcast, thank you so much for being here. It is June 22nd, 2022. I'm here to do a follow-up update on the submar- missing uh, Titanic tourist submarine, or they call it Titan, that was missing since Sunday, the 18th of June, 2023. And this afternoon at three o'clock Eastern time this afternoon, they gave an update and it's the sad news, you know, I, when I came here and did my previous video two days ago, I say, let's keep the family in prayer. And I think we should continue to do that. And I'm here to do an update because, um, you know, the update from the Coast Guard was that they found the debris. Um, you know, yesterday they were saying they heard noises every half an hour and today you know they were they run out of oxygen i believe by one o'clock today and at three o'clock today they confirmed that the uh, debris from the ocean gate vessel that was taking those five people um was found near the ocean sea um ground right um near the titanic and they confirmed you know that that was the, the vessel that was used and you know all of the people aboard of course were deceased um we got we learned so much about this you know and please don't mind my background as you can see i'm in my home as i am making room once again for julissa designs and you can see my dress form back there um if you're watching this on youtube but speaking about this story you know it is so um so sad right and there's so many things that we learn from a story like this right um but before i tell you my my thoughts where my thoughts are on this let me just read to you guys a little bit of this article right um with the official story that came out right it says here the five people abroad the submersible that has been missing for days were killed when the small vessel carrying them to the titanic wreckage site has has been a catastrophic implosion the coast guard said thursday afternoon like i said at three o'clock today i was watching the live conference um press conference live from the coast guard and it was very brief you know these people they're not gonna you know it's already hard on them right um because there's you know this vessel that was created to go down to the titanic twelve thousand feet um on on the on, under the sea right um it has not really been like officially approved and you know there's a lot of waivers that they had to sign just to get on it and besides all of that the high ticket price of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so you know the coast guard was very limited in what they say they explain what they found and what they believe the the end was for these five people and then they were they took like two questions and then they went off um they were not receiving any more questions nothing like that so let me see um a little bit i'm gonna tell you a little bit what the coast guard said earlier today the debris is consistent with the catastrophic implosion of the vessel um the rear admiral john mauger commander of the first coast guard district said in the news conference the debris that was found 16 uh, 1600 feet from the titanic but about on the sea floor was too early to tell when the titan imploded the coast guard will continue investigating with remotely operated vehicles or rovs okay i think you know It's sad that these people to that were in that vessel, right? The five of them, right? Um, probably thought this was gonna be a one in a lifetime opportunity. They have the money, they can afford it, right? And you know, I just heard somebody say, you know, they actually paid two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to die, right? Um, and aside from all the theories and the so many things that we can think about, right? About conspiracy theories, the 
spirit and like how is this is so impossible that people are going to be sitting in such a small space um without being able to move for eight hours to go see something on a screen right that already had been people that tried to do that already had issues with it right this is not the first time this has happened where there was an issue with the vessel going down to see the titanic right and the titanic also on its own is such a tragic story right it, a story that tempted god right they say nobody can sink this ship not even god there, there's something that came out of that story you know i don't have the exact details about it right but i know um we hear that from when they created the original titanic obviously i'm not talking about the movie they say you know somebody say nobody can sink this ship not even god and it's a temptation you know they're tempting the lord right and your your fanatism to and your passion to goes beyond that right this is why you know when i speak about um following celebrities and all of that we have to be so careful how um this world makes you um kind of like convert fanatism into passion and then eventually it leads you to idol worship right um you know you can see a tv show in uh, do you see a tv show let's just say right and you fall in love with one of the characters and you follow them on social media and then you buy their posters and you know you eat what they eat you, you know you go you want to go to the places where they go and that all of that leads you to worship and what do we see now right um we see people being fantasized with movies right they get fantasized with tv shows right you know they want to go see where this is filmed they want to go see um where this movie has been filmed you know they make the lines in the theaters days before the movie is released all of this idol worship is, is it's almost like you know we're so invested into this fictional story and i understand the titanic's a real thing but I'm, I'm speaking about other stuff um and they're like so into it right so much so that, that this passion can take turn into idol worshiping and they have a dream to one day you know just be in the actual thing right there's so much footage on the internet of the titanic there are museums exhibitions right there we have the movie that's like three hours long there's so much on the titanic and it's such a tragic story right um and to wish it's on right People can do if they have the money. People, you do what you know. You do what you want, right? We have free will in this life, right? You just you answer to God at the end of your life. Um, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you sometimes you think about the survivors of the Titanic, right? And the people that perish in the Titanic, and they're probably, you know, in that moment, they probably thought. What did they thought about their life, right? In that moment when they saw this whole thing, you know, a lot of the people that went to the Titanic actually used all their life savings to get on that ship, to go find a better life. And all the dreams were broken into a ship at the end of the day that is not even, you know, your safety is not found on things made by men, right? So you think about this, this obsession that people have with titanic you know in this time when the movie came out uh, i think i was in high school or something like that yes at one point you know that was that's all people talked about right um but i'm saying like this obsession to be in the titanic even though the titanic was taken down immediately on his first trip right and this desire to go and be there even though like it's almost like everything that has been put out about the titanic was not sufficient so if i had the money to go i'm gonna go right i'm gonna risk my life to go to see that right through a computer screen um or get myself into a vessel that's not even 100 percent safe right and what i was saying on my previous video my previous episode about this whole thing is like to me it didn't seem like millionaires people who can make money like that they don't make decisions like this it just doesn't make sense to me 
like it's still i understand the the outcome of this right they all perish right that, that's what the coast guard just said that's what i just read to you but it's almost like i don't understand really like really they really make the decision a, a father and a son together paying half a million dollars to get into this vessel um there's no like um you know like i i put the example of kobe bryant and his wife you know they always say we don't travel together because if somebody if one of those if we get into an accident one of us die you know we don't we, we don't want our kids to be alone right so look what happened to kobe bryant right so it's like you know it's just it makes you wonder like really these people this billionaire um decided to do that instead of saying hey i'm gonna give you half a million dollars to invest on something more secure more roomy right i'm gonna give you 500 five hundred thousand dollars right now so you can upgrade this vessel to f come up with something that's more secure to take us down there eventually you know and then you know upgrade your company right and use the money and i want to invest in your company because we're so fascinated with titanic here's half a million dollars invest in your company and then we can make our money back maybe you can start doing tours when you make this whole vessel more secure you know and lower the price and you know you get more people with you know they want to go see that but they risk all of that and they pay to do that that's the part that i don't understand you know and we can speak about this all day right but anyways right like i said two wishes on you know, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars can really feed a lot of people and it can really change somebody's life right now. And like I said, you know, if they have the money, you know, and that's what they wanna do, God gives us free will, right? Um, and then there's something else that's happening in the world with this whole story about the Titanic submersible, is that people have no respect these days for life anymore. Like this is another example that we are living in the last days. I go on Twitter to get, you know, I've been going on Twitter to get updates about the whole story yesterday, the day before and all of that. And I, Titanic has been trending on Twitter since this whole thing started, right, in, uh, on Sunday. And it's like, to go on Twitter, to go on TikTok and see so many memes, so many jokes, so many reels jokingly about this whole thing. And, like, what is going on? Like, at the end of the day, there's five people creating the image of God who were missing. And now look, look what the outcome is of these people who have families who have wives and and you know kids and you know they have brothers and sisters and, and and cousins and families and people are missing them right now in this world it's just you know the majority obviously because the the, the videos that are getting the most popularity are people making fun of the whole situation it's just like wow the love of many will grow cold just like the bible says people have will have no regards you know like it's just you know well you know i'm not paying two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go see the titanic so i don't really care you know this is not affecting me immediately so i don't care it's so crazy to see that right so that's something that you know just to point out that we learn from this whole story the sad outcome of this whole titanic submergible story you know the tourist story um it's so sad another thing that i see is just like i told you guys all the time right life is unpredictable anything can happen anything can happen right and you sometimes you know people say oh yeah i start going to church when i'm older you know i'm too young to do that or I want to enjoy my life, right? That's what people say, you know, I want to enjoy my life, right? Because they think Christians, we don't know how to have fun, nothing like that, right? Um, but it's like your life can change in the blink of an eye. You know, get right with God. Get your, get your get yourself right with God. Life, you know, one day we're here, one, one day we don't know, right? I'm sure these people that went down in that submersible, they were... You know they had plans for july let's just say right 
they had plans for many things for the future you know i'm sure with the kind of money that they have and i'm saying this is because of not that everybody can afford that right now your average person and if people are people who can afford that the two hundred fifty thousand dollars they're not gonna really spend them on that right they'll be like okay send me a video i'll pay for the video or some high quality video of your tour or something but anyways right another thing that we learn is that at the end of the day guys life is fragile and all we have is god no money in this earth can buy your safety your health nothing right nothing because when just as the titanic right like i said there was a lot of separation on the Titanic, you know, people with, you know, in everything these days, right? Lower class, higher class, whatever, right? When there is a need for a savior, we're all, we, we realize that we're all the same, basically, you know? It's just, we're all humans made in God's image with different bank accounts, right? We're all, you know, and society classifies you according to how much you make, right? people in your circle do the same thing right there are people who get surprised that you have this or you have the other you know believe it or not people put you in a category and they don't expect you to get out of that category right they think you're just gonna be in this level right so when they see you growing up in life and you know achieving things and you know earning more money they're like what how did that happen right um they put you in categories and i think you know this is the the culture of classification i always say it's so interesting that i'm thinking about this yeah i always say you guys know i'm, I'm from the dominican republic but i always say to myself man i never knew i was dominican until i came to this country because it's such a everywhere you go like oh, you have an accent where are you from like you know you go to the airport like country of origin right you always have to put you always being classified everywhere you go you, you know you're being classified you're being put into this bucket at the end of the day you know we're all god's creation creating his image right and no money in this world is going to satisfy satisfy the soul of man no money in this world you know it's going to give you what god is where you have to surrender your life to god right there's so many people who are rich and are so lost in life are so sad and sometimes you know you you see from the outside man those people probably have the high life you know who knows what their mental health was right who knows maybe this was gonna be like something to, for them to achieve to feel better about their current situation in life right you know you have to remember also this happened on father's day you know on june 18 and to see that there was a father and her son together i think their last name was uh Dawood, something like that to see that there was a father and a son together i i see some type of gift that was given right and you know being father's day i'm assuming you know it has to be i don't know because i think the kid was 19 so i don't know if he was able to be like oh dad i'm gonna buy you two hundred fifty thousand dollar ticket to go down to the titanic with me on father's day um but i'm just saying like maybe it was the dad just saying you know i'm gonna give myself this father's day gift but i'm gonna do it with my son or something I don't know, maybe it was the wife who gave that to, bo to both of them or something, right? It, you know, I don't know the details, but all I'm saying is that at the end of the day, you know, aside of the money, of the classification that people want to put you in as, at the end of the day, we're all humans, right? And to see how many people are creating memes and making fun of them, right? There's so much content of making this situation into a, a big joke, a big comedy act, a big look at them losers or you know look at them why why would they do that? It is so sad to see that you know, but that tells you how, how poor society is this is right. It tells you that this is why when you go in New York and you you know you see attacks in the in the subway or something, nobody wants to do anything. What do they want to do? 
the minute they see something getting crazy, they get their phones out, right? When I was in New York in September for New Year Fashion Week, I actually got almost attacked. Then speed to God that I was able to stop this guy. I was in Grand Central. Um, I remember just coming out of the hotel and I'm waiting for my footage outside of Chay Chuck. And here comes this tall man straight trying to hit me in my face. You know, I was surrounded by people. He came straight to me and thanks be to God, like I said, I was able to stop him. I, like I was so quick and aware of my surroundings. And I went, whoa, what are you doing? But, and you know, and then he ran off, right? So that was, that, that was his intention. But believe it or not, you know, I was surrounded by people and people said, oh, what do you expect? New York, nobody's going to do anything. But, New York, you know, that thing about oh yeah you're in this city so that's usually how it happens it's been happening everywhere these days people don't want to help anymore they just want to get their phones out so they can record you in your moment of need right instead of creating like prayer change about this whole situation people were out there on the internet making fun of them right and blaming like blaming the stepson of one of the billionaires that was in there saying that he went to a blink 182 concert like come on you know everybody's dealing with something right so and people get their anxiety one way or the other right like for me you know people say oh go for a walk not everybody wants to go for a walk when they feel anxious right not everyone wants to just you know um sit you know i tend to just you know listen to music or especially worship music right or i like to i gotta go around drive somewhere around you know and find my spot i go to this place i see the water and just just seeing the water and, and going to near the lake i'm like it's so beautiful and it's almost a reminder how you know that God is in control. Look how big this lake is, you know, and how everything, you know, the sun and everything and the trees and all of that. Um, or, you know, I'll, I'll pray, you know, pray about it or something like that. But everybody's different. So if this steps on to get this type of stress out, he's going to go to a concert. That doesn't mean he wished the worst for his family. That doesn't mean, you know, that he was just you know i just i'm gonna go celebrate because now i'm gonna be rich by inheritance or something nothing like that you know the pure things about pure things and the evil things about evil things you know there's something about similar to what i just said in the bible you know um for the pure everything is pure right for the evil everything is evil it's just that sometimes you have to give people the benefit of the doubt right not everything is as you see it okay you know people see you know like I, I can get into this because people assume a lot of stuff about me so i can really get into this subject about assumption and you know believing something that is not but always remember it and give people the benefit of the doubt because when you're on that other side of situation because life's life is like that life repeats itself right just because you're not going through something right now doesn't mean you're not going to experience it later on in life so give people the benefit of the doubt give people compassion grace understanding because you don't know like everybody's dealing with something right and don't jump to conclusions so fast and don't put people into categories so fast right it is sad news you know i actually this afternoon around one o'clock when i when i heard you know that they have like 40 minutes of oxygen or something i was like man jesus i pray for all of them i pray for all of them and you know, God knows why things happen. Um, I think learning from this and from the actual story of the Titanic, people should leave the Titanic where the Titanic ended, okay, on the, its first trip, and just don't come back. You know, one last thing that we can learn from this story is besides everything else I said, it's also, you know, 12,000 feet under the sea, like, 
that is amazing you know i'm not i'm saying i'm talking about the sea right now not not what actually happened i'm saying wow well, the power of god man if this is here on earth guys imagine what we're gonna see in heaven imagine all of that right and then you think about jesus walking in water and all of that um like i say everyone prayers to the family everyone who was affected by this um and let's pray for 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 this earth for society the way it is these days that god forbid we joke about something that is bringing others to tears you know people were praying for them people were crying their family were crying probably for them god forbid he found finds us laughing about something that it brings it's bringing people to tears we got to check ourselves sometimes, you know, we got to check ourselves and check our intentions and think that, you know, just because I'm with the majority, we're all making fun of them. Like nobody's going to see me, you know, everything's, you know, God sees everything. Nothing escapes the eyes of the Lord. So just remember that. Thank you so much everyone for coming back to my channel and listening in the podcast. Have a great day, everyone. God bless. <laughs> This morning, an ROV, a remote-operated vehicle, from the vessel Horizon Arctic discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible approximately 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic on the seafloor. The ROV subsequently found additional debris. In consultation with experts from within the unified command the debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber upon this determination we immediately notified the families <coughs> on behalf of the united states coast guard and the entire unified command i offer my deepest condolences to the families I can only imagine what this has been like for them. And I hope that this discovery provides some solace during this difficult time. forget to subscribe and share this video and i hope to see you in the next video have a great day everybody god bless hi everybody this is julissa i'm here to invite you to my podcast julissa designs and it can be found on anchor apple podcast and spotify you can join me every day as i make episodes of the latest news real life stories and i also share my favorite bible verse Hope to see you then. God bless. Everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to know more about me, you can always visit www.julissadescience.com. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.